Hello, my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Matt Player 2. If you wish me a significant, welcome back once again to Deltarune. Once again, the Undertale sequel, sort of the Undertale classic sequel. Not sure exactly how you would call it if this is a sequel. Oh, God, it's moving. Oh, Jesus, everything's moving. I did not mean to do that. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Did not mean to move it, but uh, once again, welcome back once again to Delta Root. If you guys are enjoying this series, let me know in the comments below because this is kind of an experimental thing for me and my channel. If you guys like this, let me know because I am totally fine with continuing on this little tiny series. I personally am enjoying it, so you know, I hope you guys are too, honestly. I really hope so. But yeah, let's get this freaking show on the road. So I just saved here with Chris. So yes, I am Chris still. I am still Chris. Um, I'm just going to be running around here uh, doing all this stuff. Woohoo! Is there anything down here? Nope. All right. We still don't know what the heck is going on and why I'm in a complete suit of armor. But you know, whatever. Okay. I hear sound. Oh, Jesus. All right. So I'm actually like sprinting pretty... Oh. Hello. They sound adorable, but they're kind of creepy at the same time. All right. Uh, <laughs> you guys see that up there? It took me a while to point up there because I was like, which way am I pointing? You saw that up there, right? In the top right corner of the screen? You saw that, right? <sighs> it's got to be a lot of those games, huh? Also, there's an eyeball here. I can't look at it. Also, there's sludge in the walls. Wait, what? It's too dark to see anything. What are you talking about? Like, let me know what the sludge in the wall is. All right. <laughs> Not more sludge. Is this something that I could go to? Oh, I saw the movement again. Wait, can I? Okay, so I do slide down that. All right, cool. I'll keep that in mind. What are you? What are you? What are you? Also, now the sludge is coming out of the eyes. That's, that's actually like a face. It's like, it's like, oh, it's like a, it's like a dog face, actually. It kind of looks like a dog or like a cat. So we go down or we go to the right? Let's go down first. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, there is a, there is something here. See, haha. -ha. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Of course. You got the glow sword. Oh, if I hold escape, it actually brings up the quitting menu. So I ain't going to do that. Um, I don't know. I gotta see if there's a... Oh, there we go. Press C. Wood blade. Uh, no. Uh, I don't have anything. All right, so armors. I don't have anything. So, yeah, these are my weapons and stuff. A wooden practice blade with carbon reinforced core. Um, all right, so... Power. Uh, level one human body contains a human soul. Yes, I do. Items. Oh, glow shard. Shimmery, a shimmery shard, its use is unknown. Okay, so I'm going to assume this is probably like an end game type thing. Also, what is this? Config. Master volume. Oh, okay. This is kind of cool. Uh, simply Furix. Auto run. Nah. End program. Back. No, we're good for now. All right, cool. All right, we're figuring this out. Okay, so it's C to actually do that. All right, good to know for future reference. It is C to open up the menu. Also, why is this one? Oh! Oh! Okay, so it hits me. Well, there goes my perfect run. All right, time to run. Yeah, these things hurt. So now all of a sudden things attack you out of the fights now? So things can literally just hurt you out of fights now. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic, by the way. Absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. What is this, another save? You bathe uh, you bathe your body in the light. Power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. The pain you, you had melted away. Full HP restored. Aha, so that eye puzzle. Oh, this is an eye puzzle. All right. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Blinded by darkness. All right, so I need to do this one and that one. That's pretty simple. That was a pretty simple one. Yeah, it's blinded by darkness, so you had to shut down the eyes the entire time. All right. <laughs> All right, we're down here. What? Okay, so what are these things? Oh. They just they just explode when I press them. All right. Yeah, they just explode. Oh. That thing's getting closer, by the way. That thing was just there. I'm just going to Oh, it's hiding. It's literally just hiding. Um, oh. 
Hey, back off! Come any closer now! Oh, that's Susie! Chris! Phew! Hey, this can't be like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough screwing around. We'll find a way out of here. Okay, so it's like... Okay, I thought there was like a time skip or something like that. I still don't know why we're wearing the clothes we're wearing. We were wearing perfectly decent clothes prior, so it makes me kind of worried that um that I have different clothes and we're not addressing that yet. Uh, where is here, anyway? Doesn't matter. You get used to this stuff anyways. All right, so lead the way, Chris. Oh, great. So now he's behind me. All right, so I can't, I can't talk to him, so he's just behind me from now on. All right. Oh, my God, never mind. You will talk way too slow. Okay. What? Whatever. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, you know. Poor Chris here. Like, honestly, I feel, I feel you, bro. I feel you. There's a bully. He's telling you to do stuff, and then you do the stuff, and he doesn't like it. I understand completely. Jerks, I swear. <laughs> Alright, continue down. Alright, hello. Oh, God. That's actually, okay. One thing about the scenery in Undertale. The retro. The 8-bit style. Pat loves it, by the way. I love, I've always loved 8-bit. 8-bit is freaking cool. And what up, what's up with you, Chris? You're staring at the eye? Hey, Chris. There's something out there waving at us. Any idea what it wants? Oh, okay. It's the black figure. Oh, God. Oh, we got, we, it's attacking us. Alright. Run, Chris! Yep, we are doing the run. Oh, oh, God! Okay, okay, okay. So it's auto-running for me, so that's good. Auto-run. Uh, 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 I gotta do this perfect run. Eh. Ow! Oh, my God, it takes 12 health out? Oh, God, all right. So this guy actually does a lot of damage. All right, uh, 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 okay. Nope. There. There, nope. There, okay. Jeez! Eh. Oh, God, that was close. That was... Okay, so I gotta remember, when it comes to Undertale, I mean, this is like bullet, it's like a bullet hell. Basically, my character, if my character model gets hit, it doesn't matter. It has to hit the heart. It has to hit the heart model. As long as the heart is not getting hit, I'm okay. Chris, down here. All right, let's run. I wonder what's currently, oh God, oh God. Okay, now we're sliding. All right, we're sliding, boys. So let me test my fury. Yes, my feet just got hit. So technically, it does not matter that my feet do get hit by these guys. As long as my heart model is perfectly fine, we are okay. So that's how we're gonna do it. Just make sure that the heart never gets hit. I know that's a other tail type thing, but uh, yeah. Also, uh, by the way, where did, uh, where did Susie go? Oh God, where the heck are we now? What's up? Oh, you're not dead, sweet. Got any ideas where the heck this place is? Me either. Wonder if there's anyone around the building up there. Oh, this is actually legit just a walkway. Oh, I thought this was like a tower. All right, so that's a question mark. Over there, I'm assuming this is our... Oh! Whoa, these are weird freaking houses. Okay. This is giving me like Eeb, like Eeb style. Guys, remember the game Eeb? By the way, my male character that I did for my channel is based off of Gary from Eeb. If you remember Eeb, it's a indie horror game from many, many years back. And, um, I mean, big, it went big on YouTube for during, like, 2012, 2013. And, uh, it gave, it's giving me that style because Eve is all about, like, you know, that crayon, crayon drawing stuff. And that's kind of, like, what's going on here. So, let's see. If I walk into here, it looks, wait, it look it's locked. Oh, it, it doesn't, it didn't bother telling me from before. What's this? It's locked. All right. It's locked. Yeah, it's all you're going to tell me? All right. So, maybe the inn? It's locked. Okay, I'm gonna assume this stuff opens up eventually. It's locked. Okay. Uh, what's up here? In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. Oh, it's an empty town. Oh, okay. So, uh, that used to be that stuff. All right. A black geezer emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. My bad. Gotta save there. Yep. Yeah, all right. Let's continue onwards. Love how it gave me a save point right in front of a freaking mega castle. Mm -hmm. A castle dot 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 question mark. Mm -hmm. Why the hell is there a ca castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward. Both of you. Dot dot dot. Who is this? Mr. Person inside of the uh I am the prince of this kingdom. All right, Mister. I'm in a. I'm in the. I'm the hoodie. I'm gonna call you the hooded figure. You're the hooded figure. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie. There is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive. 
and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold from time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Uh, yeah, let's listen to him. All right. Very well, then. Of course, we need to learn some lore. We need to know what the hell is going on here. Oh, it's going to give me... Oh, so you could press no if you're doing other runs. Okay. Once upon a time. Oh, a legend was uh, whispered among the shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of night. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. <gasps> That's the name of the game. <laughs> For millennia, light and dark have lived in a balance. In balance. Bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. Dot. Uh, dot. Not dot, dot, dot. Oh, music's good. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Oh, I love this music. It's so good. Then, her heart pounding. Dot, dot, dot. The earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope. Dot, dot, dot. Three heroes appear at world's edge. A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Oh, so it's like the three of us. Okay. Only they can seal the fountains. And banish their angels' heavens. Wait. Banish angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored. Oh, so what do you say? Okay, give me a second here. And then the world saved from destruction. So you're saying right now that the light has taken over? Today, the, found, uh, the fountain of darkness... The geezer, the geyser, that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the, t on the horizon. It's a lot darker, by the way. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Wait, is that like another dark castle? Is that what's going on? I'm trying to figure this one out because it's like saying that we're like a prince of darkness. So like having a prince of darkness, does that mean we're kind of shattering the light to make the darkness better? But I don't know what's going on. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend. That, desp uh, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh... Nah. What? 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 <laughs> Me too, Susie. Me? Some kind of heroes or something? You're the wrong person. Uh, but Susie, without you, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's not my damn business. Might be kind of fun, honestly. Dot, dot, dot. Anyways, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to go find a way out of here. Susie, wait. What the... What? Excuse me? Excuse me? What the hell just happened? Ha ha ha! My hero's already running away! And they didn't even know I was here! My dad's gonna make me the son of the month! Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns would steal our fount dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh, don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go to you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get through there. So his name's Lancer. All right, Lancer. I got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm. Nice plan, kid. R really? Yeah, actually. Might if we use it on you instead. <laughs> Oh, go oh, God, it's actually a really cool fight scene. All right. By the way. Oh, yeah, I could get down with this freaking music. I hope this is like the fighting music. All right, so I can act. I can fight. Item. Okay, so what is act again? Lancer. Okay, so Lancer busted. Okay, so if I do this. Okay, how do I press back? Is it okay? There we go. Lancer busts in. Uh, okay. 
Oh, so I can compliment check. Okay, so I can do the pacifist round if I want to. This guy doesn't actually seem like that that mean. So I'm going to assume that, oh, unfortunately, Susie's just going to fight, I'm assuming. Unless I do something. Compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Yeah, he just attacks. You, you make my feelings do wheelie willies. Oh, God. Okay, so it's actually the... Oh, okay. I see. I see how this works. All right. Don't know how I uh, got an axe, but, like, that's cool. Lancer. All right, let's 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 uh, do a check. Lancer. Oh, seven attack, one defense. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he's had his bike on fire. <laughs> Me too, dude. I love to get thrashed. Just kidding. That's you. All right, we're good, right? Oh, God, he's doing this? Oh, Jesus! All right, I think we're good. TP, 24%. I don't know what that means yet. Lancer switches gears randomly to appear com uh, competent. You know what? We should just... Wait. Oh, wait. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. My dang it. So what are you guys doing after this? Well, that was nothing. Uh, motorcycle is actually just a back suck on fire. Yep. Lancer, compliment. Try compliment to Lancer again, but he sees that he is in um, insincere. His attack power goes up again. God dang it. All right. Fair enough. I, I did... Yeah, realize what? Ah, crap. All right, he's doing the thing. Uh, he's doing the thing, boys. Oh, so if I get near misses, I think the TP goes up. All right. What? Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punk ass rules. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the loser will be you. Ha ha ha! Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. You gained zero XP and thirty nine um thirty nine monies. I'm assuming that's the monies of this game. So yeah, I'm assuming we are not going to get experience because I am not fighting. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to be a strict pacifist round. But I didn't really want to fight that guy, you know? It didn't seem like it. See, I think this round what I'm going to do is um, if I do have the options between being pacifist or genocide, I think I'm just going to, this particular round, I'm literally just going to play however I feel like it. Like, if I feel like this guy is a jerk, I'm going to slaughter him. If I feel like he's nice and, like, maybe he's really just, like, you know, an insecure guy, I'm going to be nice to him. That's just how I'm going to play the game. So, uh, if you are looking for, if you're yelling at me in the comments, I'm sorry. That's I'm going to play the game how I feel fit right now. So, let's see. Hey, what's up? Are you two okay? Um, allow me to do this some more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, all right. Aww. Hello there. I am Rasse. Is it Rasse? Ralse. It's Ralse. I'm Rasse. Rasse. Chris. Susie. It's over. It's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and. Best way to leave the East, right? Yes. That's where we are. Got it. See you at the school, Chris. Um. I suppose it's just the two of us then. Yeah, don't worry. I'm with you, though. I'm, I'm actually good. Chris. I'm a prince, but I uh, cur sir, uh, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. No, actually, I want to be friends with you. Let's try to find Susie. It must be the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Yeah, this guy. Chris. Uh, Ralph Say? Freaking great! I like Ralse already! Alright, so, let's see. Nothing up here? Can I go up here? Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here and our adventure is over. After our adventure is over. I can break you a yummy cake. Bake you a yummy cake! Heck yeah, you freaking awesome! Alright, Ralse, you are the best! Alright, Ralse, the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Alright, so I think I'm gonna keep that going for right now. And usually I'd probably end the video right here, but I am going to keep going for a tad bit longer because, uh, you know, I'm having fun. I was going to say, Ralsei, do you have any, do you have anything? It looks like a shop. It did say it looks like a shop, didn't it? Uh, you know you could hold X to run. Really? Right, you'll move faster by holding X. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which that case, it's alright. Okay, so yeah. I was holding shift. Shift does the same thing. Shift does the same thing. I've been holding shift. So, southeast. We go right. This music's banger, by the way. Oh, Chris, it's a training dummy I made. 
Now it seems like a great time to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Uh, sure, what's up? Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culminating of your being. So yeah, this is telling me if you guys never played Undertale, this is how it goes. Within, it holds your, well, your comp uh, compassion and the fate of the world. It only gets hit, and you and your friends lose HP. If everyone's HP was zero, we'd lose the battle. So please take care of avoid the enemy's attacks. Ready? Let's get start dodging. Well, that's okay. Woo! Woo! Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyway, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Dummy. Did, did, did I do it right? Well, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? Well, let's start defending. Simply, defending is that enemy's attacks will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange uh, watch the orange bar in the left. I'll explain it later. Yeah, I was gonna say I was kinda curious about the orange the orange thing. Great, Chris, now you gather TP. How about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my uh pass my spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Uh magic. Okay, so TP is our magic Okay. Gotcha! Figure it out. Alright, let's go. Rase, Rase, cast pacif uh, pacify. Great, Chris. We won the battle by doing now. I think it's just a little more to teach you. Acting, though this is the most violent of enemies, can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just the dummy, why don't you give it a hug? You hugged the dummy. Aww, that's so great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts to satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, his tur name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparring it. Oh, uh, sparing it, not sparring it. Sparring is the opposite of sparing. <laughs> we, if we spare all, all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. All right, so is a name. Let's spare, spare dummy, yep. And Chris, spare dummy. I'm getting called right now, so I actually have to move this up right now. That'll be the end of the real battle. I'm really happy that I got the chance to teach you this, Chris. You won, you gained zero experience of one dollar. All right. Well, that's fun. You're such a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, and in case you need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Zuzi. Press C to open the menu and you can use your items. You got the manual. All right, sounds good. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is as long as I'm actually able to walk all the way back here, which actually I currently am. So, little princess, now join your ally. The power of the fluffy boy shines within you. We actually do that. That note, though, I actually got to go ahead and end this video here. I apologize. Uh, I just got a phone call. I got to go pick up my girlfriend now. <laughs> so I unfortunately have to end this video uh, here. This is fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. This is obviously di more different than what I usually do on this channel. Regardless though, Pat is kind of happy about this game. It's fun. I miss doing these types of stuff. Holy crap. Fun fact, when I made this channel, I was actually going to only make this channel based on RPG 8-bit games. But obviously that didn't take off, because eventually I started doing Minecraft and Roblox on Dragon Ball in anime. So, fun fact, this is how my channel first started. I wanted to do this kind of stuff. So, you know, feels great to do one of these after a while. Ooh, I like it a lot. Not now I'm going to say thank you guys, Joe and Skate. If you guys want to see more of this series, let me know in the comments below, because I am enjoying it a lot. And I hope you guys are too. But I know I'm going to say thank you guys, Joe and Skate, and I'll be seeing you later. Da -da. Take care, everybody. Hello, Castletown. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend regardless. Love each and every single one of you. Mwah!